Welcome back to Belshine Rule. Today, a bleak picture of conditions for migrant children held at a Border Patrol facility near El Paso, Texas. In a new report from the Associated Press, lawyers who interviewed 60 children say there's not enough food, water, or sanitation. They also say some children are being forced to care for babies and smaller children. We are seeing sick children, we are seeing dirty children, we are seeing hungry children, we're seeing children who have been separated from their parents and other family members, children who within the facility are being separated from their siblings, which they need to be with their siblings right now. Joining us now, an AP reporter on the story, Garance Burke, who works on family separation and was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize for National Reporting. Garance, thank you for this all-important reporting. I want to start with this. What specifically do we know about who those children are? Because the knee-jerk reaction we often hear is, these children were sent by their parents by themselves. What did you expect? That's not what the case is. That's not who these kids are. Yeah, I mean, one of the most poignant stories I heard was in talking with um, a, a father of a little girl who was separated from her aunt. Um, the the aunt um, had managed to put a bracelet on this little girl that said U.S. parent, and that was the only way that advocates could find this little girl's dad. Apparently, she was crying so much that um, the attorneys who went to this Customs and Border Protection station couldn't figure out who she was. We also heard of a two-year-old um, who was very uh, sick and um, a group of little girls were trying to take care of him. It's a situation in this particular CBP station where there just aren't enough adults to take care of the children. What uh, is CBP, Customs and Border Protection, saying about all of this? Uh, well, CBP, we know right now, is in active conversation with attorneys um, who represent migrant children in detention, as well as with a special monitor um, who is involved in a, a legal settlement that governs how migrant kids are held in U.S. custody. Um, but CBP acting commissioner did tell us in an interview, you know, he, he feels that this situation is really untenable, and what he is hoping is that Congress will allocate more funding, um, both to uh, Border Patrol as well as to um, another federal agency that takes care of migrant children, the Office of Refugee Resettlement. That's his hope that Congress will take action. Thus far, are they actually doing anything? You know, as best I can ascertain, the House and the Senate right now are in uh, negotiations over a spending bill. Um, that may come uh, before uh, for, you know, further consideration next week. Um, but the, the problem really is that there are really huge numbers of children arriving at the border this summer, and children, when they get into government custody, are also staying much longer, which results in this shortage of beds. Um, now, there are a variety of different reasons why children are staying so long in government custody, but what we know from talking to pediatricians and child welfare experts is, regarding Regardless of the reason, it's leading to more lasting trauma for these kids. Garance Burke, good to talk to you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Garance, uh, we should note that uh, we reached out to Customs and Border Protection as well, and we haven't received a response either. Thank you so much. Hey, MSNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there and click on any of the videos here to watch the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more MSNBC for free every day with our newsletters. Just visit msnbc.com newsletters to sign up now.